Hey everyone, so apparently with new Minecraft snapshots and new updates um, also come new Minecraft videos on this <laughs> channel. So um, the new common block mechanics, we can see the newly, newly colored common blocks over here. Um, the new common block mechanics kind of inspired me to yeah, do a very simple invention. Uh, in Minecraft, and that's uh, like you can see right here. It's like a new transportation device using stairs. Um, but and the yeah, the cool thing about it is that you really only need um, ten common blocks. Though that's a duplicate. We're not using that right now. We're only using those ten common blocks right here. You can turn it off pretty easily. It's not gonna work, and it will work for every quartz stair in the entire Minecraft world as long as this is loaded. So uh, I haven't tested but I'm pretty sure as long as you keep this in the, sp in the spawn chunks so close where your original spawn is um, close to where your original spawn is <laughs> um, this feature will work for you. So yeah you can just place stairs like this and it will teleport you one block in the direction that the stair is facing if you're above it. So the stair has to uh, be placed on the ground and cannot be an upside down stair. You would jump on it, for example, it puts you one in that direction. It will always put you kind of downward the stair, though, always in this direction. So if you jump on it, it will put you over here. Um, and if you chain a lot of these guys together, you will have ultra fast transportation. So, like you can see right here, kind of. Uh, what you can also see that. Um, those bent stairs, they are just a graphical thing, so, the, so they will not affect the stairs at all. For example, if we do something like this, this is still gonna, gonna put me in this direction, in this direction. So if I step on here, I'm gonna be over here. So this stair um, is still pointing in that direction. If I do something like this, even so, it's symmet symmetrical to what we have before. It's not going to put me over there. It's just going to put me over there. Oh, that's a bad example. Wait. Um, let me see. Yeah, yeah, I think you get the con the concept. <laughs> I think you get the concept. So you can build or uh, you can build some kind of roadways with this. You, like you can see over here, it also goes up and down. Um, and yeah, so it works with quad stairs. If you want to have other stairs, that's no problem. Um, you, it's all in the comment blocks. The comment blocks are very short. Basically, you have two basic comments. It's a test for block comment, um, which is aligned to the player with an execute comment, and then you have a TP comment. So you can just change the block right here to, I don't know, brick stairs if you want to have a more expensive solution, or maybe uh, I think wooden stairs, or how are they called? Like you can look that up. Mm. Actually, we can test out a new common block feature, which would be common block tab completion. Oh wait, it's not working. Ah, it's not working because I'm in an execute command. So yeah. Mm, Give page Minecraft wooden. Nope. Hmm. Oak stairs. There you go. Oak stairs. <laughs> so you can just, in case you didn't know, you can always leave the, the Minecraft out. So we could do the same here for oak stairs. Um, and then <laughs> doing redstone and common blocks on the fly. Um, it will work for oak, oak stairs. Obviously only in one direction because we just modified one direction. That would be the, the positive C direction. So if you do that for oops if you do that for every other common block in here too, it will work in all directions. For other stair types too. Or even other types of blocks. I'm pretty sure you could maybe use the locks in this. Even though I don't I'm not quite sure um if locks have four directions or only two directions in code, 
Um, here we go. We can try that out right now. So let's do some experimenting on camera. Um, you can test that by using the mm, test. Oh, oops. Test for block command. Then you just test directly beneath you with, with the minus one in the y direction. Then you test for oak. Wood, no, log, log, uh, log, Minecraft, log, log 2. Yes. Then you can enter a data value. And yeah, there you kind of have. So this is a data value of 8. Yeah, I think it's probably not going to work because if you this is actually the exact same block, probably. So they both have 8, though you can't have 4 directions. I mean, you could, I don't know, have those... Oops, this is a 0, apparently. So basically, why is this 8, then? Probably, there are probably some, yeah, it's 0, 4, 8. So yeah, there are basically only 3 variants, so with 3 variants you could have theoretically four different blocks, four different colors, going four different directions. Just play, you could, yeah. I feel like stairs are the most intuitive way of doing it, definitely, but I'm not gonna get off, off track too much. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder... Uh, yeah, red sandstone stairs. <laughs> you could use them on the new stairs, I don't know. But... Um, yeah, this is the most intuitive way I feel. So yeah, I don't know if I explained this already, but the last common block is not any directional thing, though I, um, it's not... So what the other ones basically do is they teleport you along one of the axes, corresponding to a data value of the chord stairs. This does not have a data value, and it does not test below you. It tests directly at your feet, so it will only work if your feet are obstructed by a block and it will te teleport you up. So that's basically um, doing the upstairs thingies because this this will teleport you into the block and then when you're into the block you will get teleported upwards. So yeah, that's why the stairs are working. And then downwards you will just fall down by gravity. Um, because of that functionality you can also do elevators. So Mm, if you step on here, well, oh, <laughs> I did not change that deck apparently. Let's just use the other one. Um, so yeah, you can do elevators, which is kind of neat. Um, because, yeah, I mean, you can see the concept, you will get teleported back and forth, and in the process you will get teleported up also because of that last command. So yeah, last thing, um, multiplayer single player, right now I'm using at P, so it will only work for one player, and usually that's going to mean that it's going to work for the closest player to the common block contraption, but if two players are just at the, uh, multiplayer are just at the exact same um, distance, so that one common block triggers for one player, and then the other common block triggers for other player, maybe theoretically the, one, uh, the wrong a player might get teleported. So I would not use this in multiplayer. Um, really it's not a good idea, so I would use this one instead. I didn't show this yet, but it uses a name, so it will only work for that specific person. So my name is Paige, in case you didn't know my in-game name. Um, if you, I don't know, called something... Something like that, you know, people like to have flashy Minecraft names. You can just copy that over whatever. And it will work for that specific person. So basically for every person you want to include in your server-wide um, stair network, you would have to have... Oops. Did I change that? I probably did, didn't. Oh yeah, I changed those two to the wrong name, so of course they're not working anymore. You can also use tab completion to enter your name. I just pressed 
tab right there. I did not enter anything, so... Yep, that's also a way to do that. So on your small multiplayer server, I'd say that's definitely an option. And I know that a huge majority of Minecraft multiplayer takes... Or maybe not huge, but a good portion of Minecraft multiplayer takes place on like small servers. Server, yeah. Servers. <laughs> so this is definitely an option for those people. And there's not really a way to use something like um, at all here because then everybody will get teleported obviously and because those common blocks are completely independent and I'm using a test for block command I can't access individual players not even I thought about it I, not even scoreboard will do that because basically you will always need a selector right here that's like the only way to target individual players is to use some kind of selector here like XP or whatever and you can't just do that here. You have to use two separate command blocks so it will always test for one player and then it will teleport one player or it will test for page and then it will teleport page but if I had at all it would first test for all and then if one of them had quads beneath their feet it would teleport all players and then that would one player would get a nice effect where he like goes around the stairs and all the other players would randomly get teleported into walls and stuff so that's not okay but if you have a small server just build that for every player um i can also give you a um a small overview over the commands real quick um they are short enough to fit into um, the line here f without me needing to scroll. They're kind of simple. I explained it in the beginning. You have an execute at the player or on a multiplayer server. Type in the name. And then at the position of the player, or a little bit below actually, test for a quartz block with a specific damage value. Um, that's called damage value. Like that's a really old term which kind of has something to do with tools etc um, but it's basically a kind of variant ID thingy mm, and then you teleport him so oh, if you want to build it I can like 3 corresponds to uh, zero, zero, 001 then 2 cos oops, corresponds to zero, zero, minus 1 um, 1 damage value 1 corresponds to 1 0, 0, um, and 0, damage value 0, corresponds to minus 1, 0, 0. So, yeah. Those damage values are, again, just the rotation of the stair, and those are then relative coordinates. So this will teleport you negative 1 in the x direction, so over there, for example. And, I mean, you can just test those out, basically. You could just test that copy it you know paste it right here and see oops yeah and you can kind of see I'm going to the right so then I could pla place uh, the stair or the, uh, any other block I want to have and then I could have a test for block minus one mm. have an arbitrary number here and you see it's a 3. So we concluded that um, zero, zero, 001 corresponds to 3. So then we can point... Th I, I mean, if you know a little bit about how Minecraft works, coordinates works, and, and I, c I think you can set up your own systems. Because like the reason I'm explaining all of that to you is for one reason of for that is because you should understand everything I'm saying. <laughs> I want to educate you. Be educated. Um, but another reason is so you could theoretically uh, set up your own mm, system very easily with different blocks. Like I said, you could for example instead use different colored wool for each direction. If you wanted. Or, uh, okay, Oakwood did not work. I tested that. I don't know if you could use rails. But there again, they are not directional. So it's that won't work. I think you could use comparators or repeaters if you wanted. Um, 
pistons, you could use pistons, you could do something like this. So yeah, you could use all kinds of blocks for this, basically. Um, you just have to, again, trig it in here. Oh yeah, and if you're using um, different blocks, actually, like different types of woods, for example, which count as different blocks, then that last comment would have to be extended for all these blocks, like you would have to add some more over here and then, then change it. Um, like basically, whoop, something like this and then change it over here. So, I hope that with that information, it's not going to be a problem for you to maybe set this up on your own world. You can like, on a single player world for example, you can just um, go to your survival world, then just kill yourself if you spawn near a bat, bat uh, destroy the bat, then kill yourself again, and then you're gonna spawn at your original spawn. Or maybe you just know where you originally spawned. Then at your original spawn you can set up um, a contraption like this. Um, basically just copy the commands, and oh yeah, and before that you have to put yourself in uh, creative mode, obviously, to get the command blocks, you have to give yourself a command, I bet I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, you can l look up any basic command block tutorial or look on the wiki um, to know how to do that, you know, place the command block, put it here into the right settings, always look that the direction is kind of okay right here, that direction is, is irrelevant, but that one's important. All of that stuff. And then you type in the commands, you build everything, and then, then you can put yourself back into survival mode. And, you know, you can include that as your survival experience, because, I don't know, if you don't like minecarts for some reason, you think they are too expensive or too slow, um, you could, for example, use this as an alternative. Don't ask me, maybe it breaks immersion, but... <laughs> I don't know. Why not? And, yeah, with, with this I'm gonna end the video right now. I have a habit of making my videos longer than they need to be, really. Um, but, yeah. Have a good day. And... I don't know. Maybe... You can you can have some fun with this idea. Maybe you can expand on it. Maybe you can write me in the comments if you did something with it. Uh, it will make my day. And yeah, bye bye. <laughs>